I vividly remember sitting in one of my med surge classes, learning about heart failure. This professor that was teaching us, she was taking some extra time to really try to go through the material and really make sure that we understood it. Now, I already felt pretty confident with heart failure, but a lot of my classmates were struggling. That's why I had been hired as a tutor. <laughs> so this teacher is actually one of the inspirations for how I went on to develop uh, the study system, the silver bullet study system because I remember sitting there as she's going through the anatomy and physiology of the heart and explaining why, what the symptoms of left-sided heart failure are versus right-sided heart failure are. And as she sums it all up, she finishes by saying, and that is why the most common cause of right-sided heart failure is left-sided heart failure. And the reason is because with the left side of the heart, it's not pumping effectively and the right side of the heart is trying to push, then the right side of the heart has to push harder to make up for what the left side of the heart is not doing. So the right side of the heart is going to get tired and eventually fail. And it all came down to the anatomy and physiology. Now, this was something that I had intuitively known as a tutor. However, I listened to one of my classmates next to me who was a really bright woman and she says oh that makes total sense now I get it and that's when I realized overhearing her light bulb moment that the foundational information about the things that we're studying in nursing school are what is required before you can ever begin to think like a nurse you have to know that foundational information, things like A and P and other categories of information before you can take that next step to, step to understand why symptoms happen, what's broken, and what are we gonna do about it as nurses? But once you have that piece in place, then you can build it a structure. It just becomes a, a category of plug-in, <laughs> It becomes categorically plugging in all of the information that you need in order to get to the next level of thinking like a nurse. And once you can do that, then you no longer need your professor. You no longer need to Google random YouTube videos. You don't even need me as a tutor. What you need is a systematic way of studying that will automatically train your brain to think like a nurse so that you can be like that classmate and have your light bulb moments, except you will be making them for yourself because you will understand how to approach the information, identify the most important information, put it together into a concept map that makes sense for your brain so that when you're faced with those NCLEX questions, you know how to select the information that is required to ask answer that question and to answer what it's really asking so that you can always narrow it down to two answer choices and pick the correct one. So if that sounds good to you and you would like to learn more about how to study in this powerful way, this, it's a simple four-step method that will uh, help you for your entire nursing career, then you can join me inside the VIP tutoring membership at yournursingtutor.com forward slash VIP.